what's going on it's me it's Gigi the face behind Gigi Vice Florida back again with another video we got a whole hurricane coming out here y'all a whole hurricane out here and being that I am going to be stuck in the house for the next 24 to 48 hours I need to run to the grocery store now yesterday i was at the grocery store but i went and bought some pork chops yesterday made some pork chops because i was craving some pork chops and before y'all go and say anything funny craving but i'm not pregnant um <laughs> had to drop that out there but i made some pork chops and for some reason pork chops is just not doing it for me anymore it's just not doing it for me anymore look at this damn this guy right here I see him always doing the most. Like, what the hell? He had like, he a part of the HOA in our community. And I'm not even gonna lie to you. Our neighbors, listen, a piece of work, a piece of work. But we live out here in Martin County and surprisingly people ain't go that crazy and do the most when it came to the grocery stores, like buying up everything. Like yesterday, Carlton said he went to Whole Foods and there was no bananas. Like organic bananas were out. Um, the shelves were empty. And you know how people get whenever they hear a hurricane, just like what happened um, during COVID, you know, people was buying up all the toilet paper. Like, come on now, buying up all the toilet paper. Not even having any canned goods in their house. But back to what I was saying, made some pork chops yesterday. Pork chops are not doing it for me anymore. So I actually um, said I was going to the store now to get me some chicken. I don't know if I want to make some curry chicken or some jerk chicken or just some Haitian style chicken, you know, with some sauce. I know for my zoes, you know, pulak sauce. I don't know if I want to make that, but we're just going to see. And every time I tell myself, and I know I'm not the only one, every time I tell myself I'm only going in the grocery store for one item, I end up coming out with freaking 100, almost $200, um, $200 worth of stuff. And I hope that's not the case today. I just hope it's not. So, but my rice yesterday, I made some D. John John. If y'all know what D. John John is for my Zoes, that is the mushroom rice um, with lima beans or the black rice, like most people be calling it. Let me tell you. Hmm. my rice was hitting and I used balsamati rice yeah it was 10 out of 10 amazing it tastes so good so I'm going to be using that rice again oh the damn parking lot is empty look it is completely empty out here so we're going to run into Publix and make this very, very fast. So y'all come with me to Publix. All right, y'all see how I told y'all the parking lot is completely empty. And speaking of that, I need to go bring my vehicle or this vehicle back to Brayman um, so I can get my baby Pearl. But that will have to be on my schedule once I am, or once this hurricane passes by. Now I know these people, these folks in here are gonna be looking at me crazy. Like this girl got her phone and this tripod and whatnot, but it is what it is. Oh hell no, nah, don't tell me the store is closed. This is ghetto. Ghetto. I just know you're lying. Why is Publix closed? Oh my God. All right, y'all, so clearly y'all see I'm back in my car that fast. I walked all the way up to the sliding doors thinking they were gonna poof and open for me. And of course, Publix decided to close early. I already see raindrops starting to fall. Um, so now I'm off to Sprout. Sprout is probably like, you know, eight to 10 minutes away from my house. Publix is right up the freaking road. That's why I thought it was gonna be clutch for me. But that's probably my fault because I definitely should have woke up earlier um, to go and do my little shopping so i could be locked up in the house but nonetheless i'm really not a sprouts kind of girl if i'm not at Publix, i prefer going to whole foods 
I'm definitely not going to Walmart because I don't like to meet at Walmart. It's a no for me. <laughs> no offense. But now I can honestly say I'm not going to walk out the grocery store with about $100 to $200 worth of stuff because there's not that much I need to get out of Sprouts. But I think I have my umbrella in the trunk. I hope LaShawn left it in the trunk. But if not, I mean, I have locks. My hair is just going to have to get wet. So once I get home, I'm going to be in the kitchen probably for like a good two hours. Like I said, my rice is already done. So just cook my meat. I have to clean my meat and all that stuff. Haitians, you know, it takes us a while for my souls, my Caribbean people, you know, when we're cooking, it's, it's a long drawn out process. So I'm going to say about two hours, two to three hours, I'm going to be in the kitchen. But I need this rain to slow freaking down. Because what? <sighs> yeah. And believe it or not, I was not cooking since I've been in this new house. I probably can count on one hand how many times I've cooked in the house because my boyfriend has transitioned over to being like a pescatarian, vegan kind of guy. So there's a lot of stuff I just don't cook anymore because we used to be eating lamb chops. I mean, he still eat lamb chops here and there, um, but not that often. But I used to be making lamb chops. I used to be making my chicken, oxtails. Oh my God. My rice and peas. Decole, however you want to call it. Um, but now that it's just him and I, or it's always been him and I, I'm not going to make a whole, um, I'm not going to, you know, make a whole feast and it's only me that's eating, so... And I don't live close to my family. I mean, granted, I'm always back and forth in Palm Beach, but I'm not going to be cooking like that to go bring food and come back home. I did that one time, probably two um, times, and it's not happening. I wonder if the Publix up the road is open, or is it all Publix? I don't know. I said I wanted to go get me a pedicure, too, because I only did my nails. Um... When I went to the nail salon last Saturday, last Sunday, because Chloe did her thing. Like, y'all see my nails? She did her thing, but she just moved so freaking slow for me. And finding a great nail tech in Martin County is like slim to none. I've tried out four to five nail salons, and all of them have been trash. All of them. Like, they do a great job when it comes to pedicures, but as far as my nails, trash. That's why I need to just start going back to my girl, Misha, because Misha just got me right when it came to my nails. I just sent her a picture, I showed her the picture when I was at my appointment. We have our nice girl talk. Y'all know how it is when you're at the um, salon, whether it be the hair salon or even the nail salon, and you chopping it up with your girl, telling them what's going on in life. Oh, 10 out of 10, highly recommended. Oh, that's why I cannot wait to go and get my hair retwisted because when I go back to Yaz, have so much to catch up on <laughs> i don't know publix publix is given that it might be open i see post right over there it's given that i see the parking lot a little bit but i'm not even gonna waste my time sprouts already said they're gonna be open till three o'clock so i'm just gonna take my behind to sprouts so i don't know what's taking this truck forever to turn but I could have just ordered me some wings too I could have been very very lazy and say you know what I'm just gonna order me some wings but I was like no I'm in a cooking mood so I'm just going to cook so I see sprouts right there and of course if you don't move your damn truck I find me a little parking spot why are you get your ass together? Or is that the reverse in here? You know what they say to the ladies that be reverse parking in reverse parking whenever they go out. Something wrong with you. It's only a certain point in times. A few instances where I like to Oh shoot. Luckily it wasn't a car behind me. There's only a few times I actually like um, parking. That's because um, in and out. That's amazing. 
Man, flu, I'm out of here. So y'all off to Sprouts we go.